I just realized that if you're watching this maybe 20, 30 years in the future, there is an actual chance that you are a genetically modified human. Hey guys, welcome to my Now, genetic editing is one of the most interesting topics in science right now, and it's set to revolutionize the way we do everything in the future. But more on that later. First, how does genetic editing actually work? Genetic editing is carried out using CRISPR-Cas9 technology. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Shorts Palindromic Repeat. This is a system that was first found in the 1980s in bacteria. Now, bacteria contain these bits of DNA that are palindromic, which means it's the same when you read it forwards as it is when you read it backwards. And this is like the word mom, or if you're American, mom. And in between these, there are sections of DNA called spacer DNA. Now, this is DNA that's derived from viruses. When the bacteria is attacked by a virus, it checks through its genome to see if it can find the spacer DNA that is associated with that virus. Now, if such DNA is found, the DNA undergoes transcription, which means that it's turned into RNA. The RNA is placed into a protein called a Cas protein. Now, these are normally described as molecular scissors. The RNA guides the Cas protein to the specific section of DNA that needs to be cut, and then the Cas protein cuts it. To edit genes, scientists have basically stolen this process from bacteria. They realized that they could program the Cas9 to cut whatever genes they wanted by putting in the corresponding RNA. So they make the RNA and put it into the Cas protein. The Cas protein is then guided by the RNA and it goes and cuts the DNA. Once they cut out a certain section of DNA, they can replace it with another section of DNA. Now, not only is this process incredibly precise, it's also relatively cheap and easy to do, and it's also quite fast as well. This is what makes this technology so transformative, so that anyone with a lab can do it. Researchers have already used this technology to do a lot of things. For example, they've created mosquitoes that are resistant to malaria, they've created pigs that can grow human organs so you don't need human donors, and they've even used CRISPR to treat cancer. CRISPR can also be used to edit human genes which is great because you can cure genetic illnesses like haemophilia or Huntington's disease. However, this editing of embryos, it's a huge ethical issue. So far, any embryos that have been edited haven't been allowed to develop into human beings. But as the technology improves, as time goes on, it's looking more and more likely that in the future we will have genetically modified people. Genetic editing might start as a way to cure genetic illnesses, but in the future we may see the creation of so-called designer babies, that are babies that parents can choose the traits for. So you can make your baby have blue eyes or brown hair. And this, this might be a very slippery slope indeed. CRISPR really is a fascinating topic, and if you want more information on anything I mentioned in this video, I've included the sources down in the description below, so check that out.